I hear the call of the stars. G'day guys, Phil here. I'm going to be taking you through this particular set of games. This is going to be between EG In Control and EG Huck. This is going to be a bit of a, obviously, a, uh, a team kill for one of these players. We'll see who is the better Protoss, and uh, of course we'll obviously find out who has the better 4-gate micro or something to that effect. Usually <laughs> you can see high level, uh, high level games going into 4-gates and that sort of thing, but um, I would not be surprised. Perhaps we may see Huck do something a little bit different. He obviously, he's not a huge fan of the 4-gates, so we'll see if he's going to uh, perhaps pull something out. Obviously on the Korean server especially, you see a lot more of, uh, of generally like a 3-gate into Robo and then a switch into Blink Tech. So, um, I would not be surprised if, if uh, Huck does something like that, and of course uh, with that excellent micro that he has, he'll be able to pull something out, or will In Control be able to pull something out himself, but we'll see what happens here, just um, obviously on MLG version of Metalopolis where you have no close ground spawns, not really that spawns uh, actually matter in this particular matchup given that uh, proxy pylons can assist in actually getting reinforcements to your base, so that's uh, one thing to take into consideration, but um, close air distances, now I'm, I'm assuming that neither of these players is going to go for something air related given that uh, the P uh, PvP never ever really goes that way but um, both these guys are going to find each other straight away as we can see here the probe from uh, in control is actually going to just sweep past that one from Huck which is now pushing up the uh, the top part of the map and they're going to jump in and see what each other are doing now just uh, obviously at this starting point of the game you don't actually really get to see too much of what the players are doing things you can take from uh, from this particular part of the game where you're scouting around you can have a look at your opponents uh, their nexus energy you can tell if they're saving it up or if they're uh, uh, boosting it away on the probes to try and get the probes out uh, in a larger number or if they're going to be saving it up to actually get a quicker warp gate tech now Hux probe is uh, just actually just uh, being a little bit annoying at the moment. The cyber core goes down there for in control. Back in uh, Hux base, he's also got his own uh, cyber core going up as well. In control, not actually doing as much with the probe, but what he can see, as we mentioned, was that Huck actually has um, half energy, uh, well, pretty much half a bar full of energy there. So it's probably going to be um, a pretty quick cybernetics core there. I believe both these players actually got that quite quickly there at, at the uh, standard sort of timing. But here is uh, that Huck probe being quite annoying, of course, just um, poking away at those minerals, trying to stop in controls probes from actually getting straight onto the minerals as fast as they probably could. And now, in fact, trying to take some shots at the probe here. And that probe is uh, actually down in the shields, but Huck is also down on shields as well. So he is going to have to start running away soon because the, pro the uh, first zealot is out. The stalker is on the way as well. And just down at Huck's base, he's also going for the same sort of thing. In fact, in control actually went for the... Uh, <laughs> the uh, st steal of the gas there. A little bit surprised he went for that, but um, either way, he has blocked Huck from getting that gas, just in case Huck was going to go for something a little bit more uh, gas orientated. As we mentioned, Huck generally likes to go for uh, the Blink Stalkers in this particular matchup, so we'll see if he uh, if, if that is delayed and if he is going to go for something different based on that or if he is going to stick with the standard sort of thing. Now, Huck actually getting out of the, uh, the Robo facility, getting a second gateway as well, and it looks as if this uh, probe is preparing to put down an... Oh, another gateway. I was a little, little bit surprised at that, but um, this is a very strong build, of course. You can transition straight into uh, Colossus Tech very quickly. As we can see, uh, In Control has actually gotten two, two more gates down, so he is sitting at a total of three. Probably going to look to do some blink uh, tactics there himself. We'll wait and see. Um, what he's actually going to get up to because now that the second gas is done he certainly can get the uh, Twilight Council running and he should be able to actually um, get the blink tech going but uh, as we said um, strong build here from Huck actually where you get the robo out pretty quickly you can get an observer straight out you can also grab an immortal if you're a bit a little bit afraid of what your opponent is doing and as we mentioned, you can also get straight into the Colossus tech very, very quickly. So both these players, as we just saw here, just checking the gas, of course, of the corner of the map. You can hide probes in some of these various spots just over here. So it is always good to check out what is happening inside your base. And Huck, yeah, just really, uh, really powering away on the Zealots at the moment. Just looking at the unit tab, we're currently sitting at four Zealots for Huck. Only one for In Control, but In Control has three Stalkers and a Sentry as well. So we'll just see what Huck is up to in just a moment here. In fact, there is that Twilight Council. So it is going to be exactly that particular build that I mentioned before. Grabbing that, uh, grabbing the three gates, the Robo, and then switching over to the Twilight Tech. So Huck is going to be able to see exactly what In Control is up to. As we can see, he's just poking around and finding out what is going on. The Robo 
just now completing for in control, so he's uh, going to need to get his own uh, observer out in just a second. There we go. But um, one thing he doesn't know about just yet is the pylons over here. We're probably going to see another one from Huck just hidden up the top corner here as well. He loves to put one over there, but. Um, in control, of course, will need to deal with those if he is going to push out at all. He does have these uh, four, now five stalkers just at the top of his ramp, so he is going to be prepared for anything. In control, meanwhile, has put down his own pylon just down at this uh, the five o'clock position there, so he is going to be able to warp in his own units. And in fact, this game is looking quite similar, just apart from a slight difference in the build orders. Um, but Huck now has his blink tech on the way. As we can see, that is just about done, chronoing away at that, and we'll see if he is going to actually utilize those uh, blink stalkers in a moment here. The observer is still... where is that observer gone? There it is. It's still just poking around, just uh, trying to keep an eye on what in control is up to. The probe, meanwhile, has actually just run down here. I'm a bit surprised that uh, Huck sent it all the way down here, but obviously keeping it alive, pretty good thing. But um, in control now, just scouting around to try and find out where those hidden pylons are. But he is going to have to contend with a little bit of a problem at the front door of his base. Huck looks like he is going to try and just come through here. In fact, almost uh, sniping out that sentry and he obviously has blinks, so he should be able to just blink past anything that comes up. But uh, in control with a nice concave there, actually taking uh, a bit of damage on those stalkers there. Actually not health damage, but a bit of shield damage. So he should be okay for the moment. Huck's going to need to uh, decide what his next move is. Just having a look at what these guys are up to. Blink just about done there for in control. But now he's going to need to be careful. There are a lot of stalkers on the ground here. The unit count's currently sitting at 12 for Huck with a couple of extra zealots there, which always are going to help out. They will push back the stalkers and that could be it straight up right there for in control. He is going to uh, probably lose. There goes one of the gateways. He could start losing pylons as well, which would really be a big detriment to what he has left over. And the only the nine stalkers left over for in control. That is just about it for him. He's going to lose out here in this first game against Huck. But uh, obviously both players playing really well. And then uh, obviously there we go. That uh, finishing quite quickly there. That's PvP for you, where it's a paper, scissors, rock, or a little bit of micro, and you can go a long way. So. Hopefully we'll uh, see some more action in the next game. We'll go straight into that one. See you guys there. Cheers.